Hey guys, it's Julia and welcome back to my channel and for today's video, I'm going to be talking about the IT Chapter 2 movie. So this review is going up a little bit late, but I've been at university and I'll probably be doing an update video soon just about what I've been reading and all that sort of stuff, so look out for that. So you guys have been highly requesting this video for a while. And I'm really excited to give it to you guys today, even though I kind of have more of a... It's been getting mixed reviews, the movie, but I have more of... I wasn't... I didn't love the movie, but I still really want to talk about it with you guys. It Chapter 2, of course, it is a book by Stephen King, if you do not know. I have a video on my thoughts on the book, on the, my thoughts on the first movie, and I have my thoughts on all the trailers leading up to It Chapter 2. So... As you can assume, I was really highly anticipating this movie. If you don't know the story, it's basically about these kids who live in Derry, which is in Maine, and there is this clown uh, called Pennywise, who's not actually a clown, he's a shapeshifter, and it basically, it feeds off of your worst fears, which at the time when they were kids, it was for the majority of them, it was a clown named Pennywise. It's about friendship and adolescence and how all these kids have to come together to and defeat Pennywise. They made a pact in the film, in the first film, that if anything ever happened or if it ever came up again, they would all go back to Derry to deal with the problem again. And second movie follows 27 years later when all the kids are adults now and it follows them going back to their hometown and the memories that are associated with that, the old friendships, the old romances that kind of started from way back when, and also them trying to defeat this monster kind of based on their new fears. So the horror elements in this one were much different than the first one. So Pennywise was still really prominent, obviously, but there was also a lot of just creepy just strange horror, just like grotesque kind of weird stuff that I was not expecting and I've heard really mixed things. Some people love this, like they're like, okay, yeah, fears develop as you age and like it's kind of normal that there was different parts of horror in there because you get, you develop different fears and different things start to freak you out. So that's kind of one side and then the other side is that they really took away from like the gore and the murder and like those aspects just to put kind of like creepy like shock factor stuff in which I more agree with that side because it just wasn't my type of horror so I was really sad that it was just really random stuff like just spider legs coming out of Stanley's head just like stuff that I was not expecting at all. So I definitely prefer the first movie as opposed to this one just because the first movie is just a much stronger film. I think it had much more substance to it and I think Myself, as well as a lot of other people, really liked the way the children were portrayed and the child actors did an amazing job. Not to say that the adult ones didn't, because Bill Hader, who played Richie, did an absolutely amazing job, and Richie was still kind of the comedic staple as the first film was as well. Adult him was the same, so that was really nice. Um, Bill Hader did, was, did an amazing job, and He's hilarious and I re I realized after how where I recognized him from and it was Saturday Night Live and I was like, oh my god, how did I not put that together? But yeah, that's where I recognize him from. But I think he did an amazing job. Bill Skarsgård, of course, did a good job. I just preferred the first film and the way that the horror was portrayed in that. That was probably like my biggest like critique, I guess, of that. Hey Ryan, who played Ben, did an amazing job. I love how they turned Ben into like a hunk and that was really cool to see. As well as the woman who played Beverly. That I always thought was super interesting about Beverly's character was how she grew up with a very abusive father and then as she gets older she kind of falls into that same trap of having someone really close to her be an abuser and falling into that situation again and it's just really sad to see that she had to deal with abuse and neglect as a kid and then also had to deal with it in adulthood so that's something that I found really interesting about that character and about how Beverly was portrayed and it's something that I always thought was interesting the way it was showcased in the book. James McAvoy did a great job as Bill. I like how they kind of, they talked a bit about the stutter in there and I just thought he did a really good job with Bill, especially all his feelings about Georgie and about what happened to his brother and how that has affected him. I had Stanley, Mike, and Eddie, of course, so James Ransom played Eddie and I think he did a great job of just channeling Eddie's kind of like anxiety, paranoia, his like, ner his social awkwardness, his, the whole placebo thing still came up and I just loved all those things that um, 
were in the film and I think he portrayed Eddie almost perfectly and it was just so him and the childhood him to the adult version was such just like a good match. Isaiah Mustafa played Mike which I thought he did a good job as well. I Mike's one of the characters that I'm like least invested in and that I just don't feel a strong connection to. Like my favorites would probably be of course Richie and Beverly and Bill and Ben but um well, and Eddie. I, I love them all. It's just, just don't have too much to say about the way Mike was portrayed. Um, but I thought it was really interesting, the storyline that they showed that he remained in Derry and everyone else went away and he had to fill in the gaps for everybody else who left. Andy Bean played Stanley and I think he also did a good job. I don't have too much to say again about this one um, for certain reasons. Also, if any of you noticed that Stephen King showed up in the movie, I thought that was really cool. He did a cute little cameo. So those of you who caught that, good job. Uh, I was like squealing. I, I I was super excited and like freaking out when I saw that so overall the way the, the film was shot I thought was really interesting and I do think it was a good film in t in all I think it was a good film but I just it didn't meet the expectations I had which maybe my expectations were too high um, but I don't think it compares as well to the first movie and I was kind of really sad and disappointed by the end of it just because it was such a long film and I felt like it just kind of was a letdown by the end, uh, for me anyways. The big thing for me was the horror element, like I mentioned earlier, that I felt like it wasn't done as well as it could have been, and I felt like just the way Pennywise was acting and just the way the fears were kind of portrayed was just really different and bizarre and just not what I thought it would be. And that's not a bad thing, but that's just kind of just my opinion on it. It just, I think my expectations were way too high and I was, came out slightly disappointed. I still do love this series, this franchise. Um, I still love Stephen King. I still love it. I still love the story and the plot and the characters. But the second film wasn't as great as I would have expected it to be. But I think that's, that's okay. And I will put some of my favorite kind of pictures and like, little scenes up on the screen right now that I really really enjoyed and thought were great but just for an example the scene with the grandma that was shown in one of the trailers like we got to see her in one of the trailers um how she wasn't actually a grandma but point is um that scene I just thought was really weird and it was kind of funny at one point and I it was just <laughs> I don't know it's not what I expected and it's not the kind of it's just not what I expected but yeah so anyways, I would love to hear your guys' thoughts on IT Chapter 2. Please let me know in the comments down below. But let's try to be respectful of everybody's opinion and things like that. I want to thank you guys so, so much for watching this video. If you are new here, you can follow me on my Instagram, Twitter, Goodreads, or anything like that. I also have a Patreon for those of you who want to support me on another platform. You do get offered some exclusive content and benefits and things like that. Along with that, I also sometimes run giveaways on my Instagram, so you could check me out over there. And also my Stephen King playlist if you're interested, and my film and TV show review playlist it will be also linked. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. I hope this video kind of helped or gave you some insight into my personal thoughts. I've been getting a lot of requests to do this video so that's why I wanted to make it and I've done so many videos leading up to this film so I had to but unfortunately it was just okay and that makes me really sad but I still did a lot. I still do think a lot of the messages were done well and I do think adolescent to adult transition I thought was really good. It worked perfectly and the characters were so fleshed out and that's something I really love but I don't know, it didn't blow me away, unfortunately. Thank you guys so, so much for watching and I'll see you super soon. Bye.